Hey everybody, Jim Sammons here. Um, about a week ago or so, I did a video uh, kind of giving the uh, list of items that I always carry on my kayak, just in case. You know, kind of those, those items you carry that you hope you never have to use. And one of the primary items was the handheld bilge pump. Uh, again, I have had to rescue people. I've had to use my bilge pump to uh, empty out people's boats. Um, thankfully, never had to do it for myself. Um, the one thing that makes this thing difficult is if, if a boat's really flooded, you can get super fatigued. Um, and I mean, if you're in the water and trying to do this in your own kayak, very fatiguing. So what I've done in the past also is back in the day where I used a, a bait tank with a dragging pump, I literally would go up to somebody and pull my pump and stick it in their kayak and use that to uh, pump out their boat. So basically, here's that pump. It's just a little electric bilge pump. Uh, and I would just disconnect it from the bait tank and stick it in and drop the thing into their kayak and then pump it out. Well, this is a, a great thing to carry. I mean, the whole thing weighs less than a pound that you could carry in addition to that handheld bilge pump. Now, I would never give up carrying the handheld because, you know, electrical things on a kayak, things can go wrong. But I can tell you what, if you've got a full boat, having something that's pumping 360 gallons an hour um, versus a handheld pump that you just dunk this thing in uh, could really make it a lot easier. Um, you know, you can set it up with, like I have this one here that I can keep in my kayak and it's just got one of these uh, Nakwa um, waterproof connectors. So if I run into a situation, I can literally disconnect my, my uh, fish finder or the bait tank on my kayak and just plug it into this, drop it into a kayak and pump it out. And I've got that waterproof connector so I don't have to worry about any kind of shorts or anything between the battery. So what I thought I would do is just kind of do a little demonstration and kind of show you how one works versus the other. Maybe do a little competition between the two. See which one's faster, see which one's easier. So uh, I'm gonna go hook these things up, go, go outside with a bucket of water and uh, we will uh, take a look at which one works better and easier. Okay, so I've moved outside here. I've got the uh, Orion Cooler 25 quart cooler and I filled it up with water. And uh, I've got my phone with the stopwatch on it, which my wife is gonna control. And um, we're gonna time and see which one's faster, which one's easier to deal with uh, between the hand pump and the electric pump. I know which one's gonna be easier, but I wanna see how much faster it is and, and convenient. So. Um, I'll hook this thing up and we'll start off with the, uh, uh, we'll start out with the, the hand pump and we'll time that one and then we'll do the electric pump. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I grabbed one of my bilge pumps and uh, got the Orion cooler here full of water and let's see how long this takes. Ready? Start the timer. And you can see it, it cranks out a fair amount of water with every pump. But it is a fair amount of work. You know, if you're out on the water, particularly if you were in your kayak or off your kayak and in the water and trying to do this while you're hanging in the water and reaching into your own kayak, this could be tough. I'm about two thirds of the way done here. And I'm giving it pretty good effort. And stop. <laughs> um, yeah, that was, I mean, I was pumping pretty fast. Gave it a pretty good effort. Okay, so I got most of the water out. It stopped with about this much water in the bottom just because of the design of the bottom of these things. Allen, what's our time? 51 seconds. So 51 seconds is what it took me to empty this 25 quart cooler with the hand bilge pump with pretty good effort. Um, I gotta be honest, if it was a full kayak, you're gonna wear yourself out. So let's refill this thing and see how we do with the electronic pump and the electric pump. You know, obviously it's gonna be a lot easier because all I gotta do is plug it in. Okay, so cooler's filled up again. I've got the uh, Nakwa battery. And again, the reason I like these because they do have 
uh, waterproof connectors. This is what I use on my um, fish finder and my bait tank. So if I was going to do this, I could just disconnect this from my fish finder and plug it into my emergency pump. So nice and quick and easy, and we'll just see how quick and easy this is. Ready, timer, and go. Oh, this is hard work. <laughs> this is a 360 gallon per hour pump. You could certainly put a bigger pump on here if you wanted. The reason it's a, a lower gallon pump is because it is what we used to use for our bait tanks. So uh, you didn't want too much water going through there, but for this type of thing, you could certainly go with a lot more water. But uh, even as what we, we did in the past, we'd put my bait tank pump in somebody's kayak and then I would hand pump as well. So, kind of working uh, double duty there. The main thing here is, is I'm not putting out any effort, so quite honestly, even if it's slower for this first uh, 25 quarts, emptying an entire kayak, this is just gonna be so much easier. Ooh, almost getting down there. <laughs> the nice thing about this is I can turn it. I, I know I'll be able to get a lot more of the water out too. Okay, time. So, yeah, it took a minute 20. Uh, so it, it did take longer. You know, those hand build pumps crank out a lot of water, as I said. But I was putting out a lot of, a lot of effort again. And uh, I think over... A completely flooded boat this is going to be so much easier like I said and if you're using both of them have the pump in there it's just hanging there it's doing its job and then you're hand pumping you're gonna empty out a boat really fast so um, I think that's something I'm just gonna keep in my boat as well just that extra pump and uh, nice safety device I hope you liked this video if you did please give us a thumbs up if you haven't done so already I hope you'll subscribe to Kayak Fishing Tales. Remember to always wear your PFD, and I hope I'll see you on the water.